Yo, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a proximity prompt to open door. Like an E to open door. Before we start, I want to say that I'll be making a request a proximity prompt too. As in this video, which will be about custom dialogues. So if you don't want to see that, then go to the time on the screen right now. Right, so I got this tutorial idea from a guy since he asked for it. Well, not exactly this, but he gave me the idea to make a video about proximity prompts. Also, I had some problems ma while I when making this, um, so I got some help looking at a qu quick tutorial from Epibot. Go subscribe to him if you want, and um, he's really good. Okay, so first we're gonna make a door. <clears throat> I'm gonna make mine... I'm just gonna make mine a part, actually two parts, but yeah, I'll make mine like this. Yeah, that, that'd be good. Um, I'm, just, I'm just gonna make mine a part. If you make it a model, then you have to specify everything in the model uh, and... Um, and the parts first you have to specify the name of the model and then the uh, parts i can speak so first i'm gonna make mine yeah i'll make it now i'll make it white and i'll make the um yeah the corners corners uh, <laughs> gray it doesn't really matter what color they are right now I, i'm just making this uh for a quick showcase you know when we're done, when we're done that, then we should anchor everything because that's really important. So grab everything, anchor it, and then yeah, these shouldn't be called door though. Uh, this one should be named door. Uh, this one should be called like part. Uh, this doesn't matter. You don't have to add these. Okay, now that you made this, you have you're gonna press on it, go into the plus. Add a search for proximity prompt. Add this. Go into it. Uh, change the action text, whatever you want. I'm gonna make, make mine open door. And then ob object text E to open. And then you can have the duration here. Keyboard uh, key, t key code. So if you EF or whatever, you know. I'm gonna make mine two seconds. Then when you're done with that, press on the plus on the proximity prompt. Add a script. And then you're gonna, <coughs> uh, then you're gonna write this local proximity prompt equals script dot parent local door equals script dot parent dot parent uh, proximity prompt dot triggered colon connect function uh, it should be like this by the way. If proximity prompt dot uh, action text equals equals um well mine mine is right now open door so open door then game dot workspace dot door dot tra trans uh, dot, dot door dot trans I just named this one not door but I'll name it like I don't know the test part one I guess I think I, yeah I already have a door in this test part part one and dot transparency equals to one uh, and then we should do the exact same thing so we can copy this paste it but instead of here we should do false instead of transparency it should be can can you can collide uh, so you can go through it and then we should do proximity prompt dot action text e equals close door. so now uh, when when you press the, uh, the action text if it's actually if the action text is open door then it will change the transparency to so it will be invisible and you can collide to false then uh, it will change the uh, action text to a closed door. Uh, and here is. Uh, now we're gonna do else. Game dot workspace dot test r one dot transparency equals to zero. So this, if if it's not, if the name is not closed door, then it should uh, go uh, go to transparency zero, which is visible. Then we're gonna do true, and then and. That's not it. Can collide. Here we have it. Uh, so here's the test part. This is the door. So 
everything should be uh, anchored and can collide should be on so when i play now i should i should see this e to open door e to open open door I hold e waits two seconds it opens and yeah you can also uh, make it close after a certain amount of seconds but then you have to do wait um and then the, uh, the seconds and then it should change uh, and then the transparency to one again no zero and can collide to true but now i have to hold it e again then it will change so that's a simple way to make it and make the door why won't it open now that's a good question oh oh i forgot then we have to do I forgot we have to do proximity prompt dot action text equals to open door. So now th that's pretty obvious. Okay, so what this does, this these are variables. So the proximity prompt, the door. Later, when the proximity prompt is triggered, it will connect a function, and the function is uh, when the proximity prompt. If the proximity prompt action text is open door. Then, when, then the game will look for, through workspace and find test, test part 1, or whatever the name of your part is. And, and it will look for the transparency and change it to 1 so it, so it will be invisible. The other one is exactly the same thing, but they can't collide, so it won't. So when the player walks through it, they won't be stopped. There's no collision in it. So yeah, and then it will change the proximity prompt. Action text to close door. And else means if it... if. If it isn't close to, if it doesn't do any of this, if it isn't any of this, then it will change the transparency, the test part uh, transparency, zero, which is visible, and then it can collide to true, and also change the proximity prompt action text to open door again. That's how you make the door open. Uh, yeah. Now for proximity prompt two version with dialogues, um, you're obviously gonna need to have a NPC dialogue already. I've made mine like like this so yeah and uh, make sure the frame the main frame is uh, the visible is checked off and then this should be enabled all right so first we're gonna go into plugins tab find rig builder and add a block rig which is either or if you even have one and uh, what i'm gonna do is add a part you can't put the proximity prompt in this head but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna make a part put it over his head put a little bit down it's transpa transparency to one, anchor it, fish part name to um, chat and PC. I don't know, you can do whatever. Go into it, add a proximity prompt, and uh, action text, action text and chat. E to, to, to chat. Uh, and then we're gonna add a script. Then we're gonna go into the script and I will cut so you can type type it out. Uh, you can pause it in whatever you want to do. Okay, so um, here we have the script. Uh, this is, these are variables. Uh, this is the bounce actually. Um, yeah. So when the prom proximity prompt is triggered, it will connect a function. And the function is player. Um, and these are also variables. It will find the player GUI. Uh, it will find what the screen GUI is, which is this one. Uh, you have to name. You have to put whatever. You see it for me, you have to put your name of your screen GUI, if that makes sense. Uh, and here, same thing, if you have a frame in it, then it should, the, the frame you have in here should be exactly the same name here. Here it just checks, if open is false, then it will, uh, then open will change to true, and then frame will be visible. Pretty easy. And uh, then, so let's just, okay, here we are, it says E to chat. Yeah, uh, you don't have to have that one. You can just have it like something else. You you choose. So when I press it, this pops up. Hello, would you like to subscribe? And that I just noticed that's spelled wrong. Subscribe. Uh, yeah, and you have to make these work too. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in another video. There's a lot of tutorials how to make buttons work. I I know how to make it, but I just can't show it in this video. But if you want to see that, then you can comment or just um. Yeah, ask me, <laughs> then I'll maybe make a video. Uh, thanks to these people that I that I got, give, gave me the, the ideas, and um, thanks to Applebot for helping me with proximity prompt. He had a great tutorial on that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.